Santa Barbara State Street added the pedestrian promenade during the pandemic. Now, with even more changes on the way, here's News Channel 3's Ryan Fish live from Lower State Street. And Ryan, city leaders are making more room now for bikes. Well, yeah, that's right, Beth. It, this is the biggest project right here behind me. City data shows that more than 12,000 cars and more than 12,000 people cross under the 101 freeway here during a typical weekend, along with 1,700 bikes. And with that in mind, upgrades are on the way, and this underpass will start to look a lot different beginning next year. It's been 30 years since the State Street underpass opened, taking away the last stoplight on the 101 in Santa Barbara. And while it made the freeway traffic move better, unfortunately, it does not need any current standards. A nearly $6 million redesign is set to start changing that next year, making the underpass safer and more spacious for pedestrians and cyclists. And this is the main critical connection between the downtown and waterfront neighborhoods. We'll see two car lanes in each direction cut down to one, a clearly marked wider bike lane with a bigger buffer and a sidewalk nearly double in size. As you go underneath the underpass, it's very dark, even in broad daylight, very uncomfortable. We'll also see more lighting down here onto the bridge, plus a redesigned railing and narrower columns with colorful designs. Here's the e-bike battery. The plans being finalized as more bikes hit the streets. The city's electric bike sharing pilot program with operator B-Cycle rolled out five months ago, and the ride's been smooth, with more than 1,000 memberships sold and docks now going up near the beach. Our most highly used stations are actually on Haley and Gutierrez on state. So now to have docks and bikes available on the waterfront is going to really increase ridership with all the sustainability plans coming from the city. It's going to really flow in together and align beautifully. So we're really excited. Right now, there's about 200 of those docks and about 100 of those pedal assist bikes, but those numbers could more than double by the end of the program. Meanwhile, for the, this underpass project, most of the funding already has been secured through the state. The city is set to approve the remainder of that funding next week. Reporting live in downtown Santa Barbara, I'm Ryan Fish, News Channel 3. All right, a big project. Thank you, Ryan.